What's up guys, how are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Dan. Today I'm gonna review this uh, La Roche Posay Tolerian Sens Tolerian Tolerian Sensitive Fluid. Okay, I'm having trouble pronouncing this one. This is a moisturizer that's great for people with acne prone skin, for people with malassezia folliculitis. It's probably one of the safest sunscreen for acne prone skin because it only has nine ingredients. Uh, but before I start the review, please consider following me on Instagram, on Facebook, subscribe to this channel for more videos related to skincare nutrition supplements, workout videos maybe in the future. Um, okay, I'm gonna start as always with the packaging. Uh, we have a pump bottle, very convenient. I love pump bottles. It is opaque, it's gonna keep the product inside protected from sunlight. Basically 10 out of 10, works pretty good. When it comes to price, um, I have no idea how much I spent for this one. I think around 13, 15 dollars maybe. I am gonna, here's the price basically. Uh, it is a little bit pricey uh, for me, just because I'm used to buying very cheap products, not cheap, inexpensive products, let's just go. It is a bit pricey for me. Uh, I think for many people it's not gonna be pricey though. And even if it's pricey, when you are trying all the moisturizers in the world and all of them are breaking you out, you don't really care about money. You just wanna find the one that's not gonna break you out and probably this is the one. This has only nine ingredients, which is great for people with sens sensitive skin and acne prone skin. Uh, but uh, I'm not gonna talk about the ingredients now. I am gonna talk about uh, the irritants, irritant ingredients. There's no alcohol in this one, drying alcohol, no fragrance. It is fungal acne safe, one of the few fungal acne safe moisturizers. Um, yeah, basically great. Now, finally, uh, my experience with the product, the ingredient list, I'm gonna dive into the ingredient list. Uh, I love this one. This is a great moisturizer. It is pretty lightweight. Let me just show you the, oh, the texture. Uh, this is not one of those gel moisturizers. It is pretty lightweight, however, it has some emolliency, some opacity. Um, it's not, it's pretty hydrating, I would say. Uh, it spreads very nice on your skin. It absorbs pretty, pretty fast, uh, leaving a uh, natural finish, basically. Um, this is gonna work for people with oily skin, uh, maybe combination skin. If you have dry skin, this is not gonna be enough. Definitely, but uh, if you have a uh, dry and very acne prone skin and everything breaks you out and all the gel moisturizers are just not enough for your skin, maybe try this one. It might work for you even though it's pretty lightweight. It has that occlusivity, that emollience, which I like. Now, the ingredient list. I'm gonna dive into the ingredient list. We have only nine ingredients. I'm not gonna include water in here because it's just water. We have only nine ingredients, probably the simplest formula for a moisturizer, a moisturizer I've ever seen. That's why this one's gonna be great for sensitive skin. There are not a lot of ingredients uh, that you may become allergic to or your skin might not like. Um, and none of the ingredients is supposed to be problematic for people with acne prone skin, none of them. Um, we have caprylic triglyceride as the second ingredient, which is my favorite emollient. Uh, it is fungal acne safe, one of the few fungal acne safe, em fungal, fungal acne safe emollients. Doesn't feed the malassezia folliculitis. We have glycerin, which is my favorite uh, humectant. Works better than hyaluronic acid, in my opinion. It also helps repair your skin barrier a little bit. Uh, there's propanidial, another humectant penetration enhancer. We have niacinamide as the fifth or the sixth, sixth, sixth ingredient. So I'm, I'm not sure how much niacinamide it is in this one, but uh, I would say it's more than 1%, between maybe one to 3%, maybe even four, I don't know. It is a nice amount of niacinamide. And not only this moisturizer is so uh, safe for people with acne prone skin, but thanks to the niacinamide, it is gonna actually fight acne because there are studies showing that uh, niacinamide is even more effective than clindamycin, which is a, uh, and anti antibiotic prescribed by dermatologists for people with acne prone skin with, with basically acne. Of course, niacinamide is one of the most versatile ingredient in my opinion. It basically helps with any skin concern 
oiliness, redness, skin barrier repair, uh, even pore size a little bit, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, dark spots, stuff like that. It is amazing. Uh, yeah, I and mean, after that, we just have four ingredients, some thickening ingredients, uh, preservatives. Yeah, I mean, it is an amazing moisturizer and even though it's a little bit pricey, I think it's worth the price, in my opinion. It is just so good. At the moment, I'm not using it that often because it's very lightweight and I started using um, tretinoin. So I need a lot of moisture of occlusivity. I'm not using this one that much just because this one is not enough. Sometimes I might use this one and then I apply what is my urea. This, which is my holy grail moisturizer at the moment. Very thick, very occlusive, doesn't break me out. So sometimes I use this underneath that moisturizer just to give it a boost of hydration and moisture. But I feel like uh, when my skin gets accustomed to tretinoin and I don't need so much moisturization, I am gonna use this one as my main uh, standalone moisturizer, especially in the summertime. This, this would be great. Even people with normal skin, I guess, can use this one during summertime. Um, yeah, great stuff, great stuff. You guys let me know what you think about the La Roche-Posay Tolerian Sensitive Fluid. There are many versions of this. They kind of have the same name, so you have to be pretty careful not to pick the wrong one, because this is the only one that's fungal acne safe. Most of them are not. Um, so pay attention to the ingredient list. There are only 10 ingredients with what I included. So um, yeah, you guys let me know what you think about this moisturizer, if you've ever tried it or not, how was your experience with it, uh, what other moisturizers I should check. By the way, I just posted on Instagram um, my 11 or 12th from Safe moisturizer. I give some like mini reviews there for all the moisturizers, you can check it out. Uh, there are some that I've never reviewed on my channel so far, I will in the future most probably. So yeah, check me out on Instagram. I love you all and I will see you all in my next video.